Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. If you have a digital tape-based camcorder, the gold standard is to use a FireWire connection to connect it to the computer. I showed you in part two how you could use an old computer with a FireWire connection. Problem is, modern computers don't have FireWire connections. I've been searching for years to find a FireWire adapter for a modern laptop, and I've finally found one, and I'm going to demonstrate it to you coming up next here on Wayback Rewind. So I've got here a Pinnacle Studio Movie Box Plus. This came out in 2008 and it is the only device that I am aware of that can convert FireWire into USB and allow you to connect it to any computer. It comes with a complete version of Pinnacle Studio 12 on DVD. The device itself and all of the cables came in this kit that I got off eBay. Now with this device it has the unique ability to take a FireWire signal on the input side and convert it into USB on the output side and allow you to connect it to any computer. Now the software is old software, but it will install on Windows 10 and 11 with no issues, assuming you have a DVD drive, which I have an external DVD drive that I connect to my modern computer and it will mount up and install with no issues. Now, Pinnacle Systems is still in business to this day. The version 12 is old from 2008. The interesting thing that I discovered is that Corel bought Pinnacle Systems in 2012, and they have continued Pinnacle Studio, and the current version is 26. And my version 12 is actually eligible for an upgrade to version 26. That's pretty amazing. So even though this software is old, I'm going to install it anyway, just to make sure that I have all the correct drivers and I can use it for the capture, even if I don't use it as my primary editing suite, which I already have, obviously. So after the program installs, it gives you a guided tour of Pinnacle Studio 12 and then offers you an upgrade to Pinnacle Studio 26. Impressive that a 16 year old program would do that. Now I'm going to connect it to the two cameras here, my DCR PC 55 and my Sony TRV 480. The unit itself is powered by USB. So I'm connecting it here to the unit itself and into my powered hub. Now once I do that, the unit itself powers up. There's no other power supply necessary. Now I'm connecting it to the DCR PC55 through the 4-pin FireWire in the base. I plug the 6-pin half of the supplied cable in and it's ready to go. I open up the capture window and it automatically detects the DV camcorder and I have all of the transport controls available just like any other DV capture, set whatever options I want and start capturing. This is just some random video I shot with the camera just to see if it would copy over to the computer and it did successfully and I'm gonna show it to you during the capture and what the final result. Remember that guy? Oh, him? Come on. He died 
legless in a volcano. I mean, he probably did. I had to leave. Now, admittedly, a small animated cartoon that I've recorded off my phone is not the best example to show the quality, but a firewire transfer is lossless. So whatever quality you captured it with the original camera, the digital copy online will look exactly the same. So it didn't really matter for my example. I just wanted to make sure it would work. So given how well it worked with 16-year-old software, I wanted to download Sony's Play Memories Home and use that to also capture from my cameras. I ran into a problem almost immediately. Despite having just shown you a Sony camera connected to my computer, Play Memories Home said it could not detect my camera. It could not detect either one of the cameras that I was planning to demonstrate today. It wasn't until I hooked up a third camera, my HDR UX5, that I got Sony's Play Memories Home to install. And even then, I ran into issues with drivers and whatnot. It was actually a very difficult install compared to my 16-year-old software. So you really think this is the best idea? So the one thing that did work out well, as soon as the Play Memories Home detected FireWire, it downloaded the import from Tape Utility and it works very well. I'm able to demonstrate it here using the same clip as before. So now for my final test, I'm going to take my TRV 480 and convert an actual tape from 2001. They asked me to produce a safety video for safety and total health day in 2001 I kind of went off the rails and instead made a music video <laughs> and uh, unfortunately I can't share the music with you or I'll get a copyright strike so I had to substitute in some generic music here but I'm connecting the firewire to my TRV 480 the same as I did before connected to the pinnacle I'm gonna play back the tape here and you're gonna see it on the screen and then you will also see it on the computer and I'll be capturing it in real time onto the computer now, unfortunately I got in a, bit, a little bit of trouble here <laughs> instead of shooting the safety video I got some admins and interns and had them dancing in the rocket park and uh, that created a little bit of a stir today that's very common you see that all over social media but there was no social media in 2001 and so showing this at the staff meeting did not go over as well as I had hoped but it did establish me as an up-and-coming video maker and here we are putting it on YouTube this many years later so the pinnacle was able to capture this video that's 23 years old on digital 8 and put it into the computer here using the iLink interface. And here is the final result of the transfer in real time, transferred in its original resolution, lossless transfer of digital information. The Pinnacle has exceeded my expectations. It works far better than I could have ever hoped. I read about it on a website from the UK about the Pinnacle Studio being the only solution that works with modern computers and I immediately bought two of them as a matter of fact because this is quickly becoming my number one go-to device. And there you have it, the Pinnacle Movie Box Plus, the only method that I know of that you can take firewire video and put it into a modern computer this dramatically improves my workflow I can use my editing computer to ingest digital 8 and DV video and it also has analog inputs so I can basically use this for any device any camcorder I can input the video into the computer and have it ready to go without having to mess around with another device and there you have it, Pinnacle Movie Box Plus. Highly recommend it, had no issues whatsoever, and the software was flawless. So if you found this helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.